Alright, so this is going to be a fairly different type of video. Usually I do live commentary, but this video I think warrants post commentary. That's because the other day I queued into a game, and the replay for this game will be in the description if you want to see it for yourself, if I remember, if I don't feel free to scream at me. And I got double rushed on the first rush. Um, a lot of people complain, just try something desperate and lose, um, but I have 900 stars, so I know what to do in situations like that. And I'm going to show you what to do in situations like that. Now, obviously, this is not going to work against every 2v1. Sometimes they might be more persistent. Sometimes the players might be better. You might not be as good as I was in this game. You know, there are many reasons. But assuming your PvP is solid, this should work like 99% of times. So, I am on green team Nyx as Olden Hyper. Because this was originally going to be a uh, Nyx video and then I was too stressed after this game so I just didn't want to play anymore and played like sumo duels for like half an hour so first game on of the day by the way as well so this is me old and hyper um, and I get rushed by yellow and blue at the same time and in case you're wondering the correct way to rush on this map is backwards diagonal so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna skip by the bit where I fall off the bridge on my own didn't happen so then I'm going back out to combat yellow I mean sorry blue and then I see yellow over here off the corner of my eye now, I notice that yellow's a bit closer because blue's all the way up there. So I quickly run over to to yellow to bat him off the map quickly. Because I knew, I, see, the thing is, if he was here already, I would have done something different, like come up here, kill blue, then run to his base. But because he was here, I knew I was going to be able to bat him off quite quickly because I've got good W tapping skills. So I ran up to check on blue that he wasn't closer than I thought. I realized he wasn't and then turned around to quickly tap yellow off the map. Then I very quickly turned back around to find blue. It was a stair fight, but because I had low ground, I got extra hits and I ended up winning the fight. All right, so I buy double gap and a bunch of blocks, eat one, and then I decide, based on these fights, even though blue hit me more, I do think that blue's the worst player. I don't know why I thought this, I just got the impression that I got a little bit lucky with yellow. Whereas Blue lost a fight with us back up against some stairs. So I choose to go for the worst player, which is what you want to do. Let the better player get your bed, because you've got a higher chance of beating the worst player, right? So I run over to his base. He's there to contest me. Uh, he's obviously breaking my bed, so that's whatever. So instead of fighting him here, I like here I would usually jump down for a crit. But then, of course, my bed gets broken by yellow. So I think, right, let's not risk it for no reason. Let's build up over him. We'll land over here. This guy tries to share me, but that's never going to work. And then I notice Red's coming, right? Red's on his way. Now, this is bad, because I knew Yellow was going to be coming. I expected him to be a bit faster than he actually was. Um, but I knew he was coming. And then Red's coming, and then Blue's here. So, this is a little uh, activity, okay? I want you to pause the video now and think about what you would do in this situation. So, you know Red's on his way. Blue's obviously there on, like, low health. I think he's on, like, six or seven. Six, yeah. And you know yellow's coming, what do you do? Alright, let's see if it matches what I do. So I know it's blue's low, so I kill him obviously. Eat my gap for health. Quickly break his bed because I know he I have time based on the fact that I know he respawns in five seconds. And then I know yellow's coming, I know red's there. So I run up into this room and get my back up against the wall and shift. So that maybe someone forgets about me. So I know red never saw me, because this entire time he was way too busy bridging to see me doing anything. Alright, so at this point, red might go for me, yellow probably will, because they saw me run up the stairs, and blue probably won't, because they'll see red and be much more alarmed by that than some guy who's running away. So I knew, worst case scenario, I was getting a 2v1 with yellow and red. And I knew based on watching a bit of red's bridging that it wasn't going to be the best, just because he was shift bridging the entire time. So this is a risk I was willing to take. I was correct, yellow did go straight for me, he came in through here, if I recall correctly. He did, yeah. But he took some full damage. I used my block hitting tricks. And I beat him with, like, basically all of my health left. Um, Blue runs up the stairs. But, again, he's more focused on red than me. And red's more focused on him than me. So I just crouch again. Back in the same corner I was in before. And just wait. Now, I know they're chasing. But I wait an extra long time because red has a bed. And I don't want him turning around and fireballing me off. So I make sure, based on their name tags here... That they're chasing each other once i realize that's obviously the case i make my way over to red's bed nothing special here run across the bridge 
Grab his gen. Grab his bed. I've grabbed a bed before, but placed the defense back. Oh, there we go. I place it back. I don't usually place it back, so that's that kind of threw me. But yeah, I break his bed. I definitely do. Um, and then while I'm running around here, I spot pink. Oh, don't ask me how I do this, by the way. I don't even remember. But I, I just spot pink over there with shiny armor and think, okay, right. So pink's got a bunch of gear. So I need to make sure I go to diamonds as quickly as possible. So I make my way to diamonds. Bring them back. Checking for fireballs along the way. Nothing super noteworthy happens here. I get pink on the way while I'm here. Again, I'm hiding again. Um, just, you know. It's always good to shift so they don't know exactly where you are. In this case, you just started running away. Um, but if you'd started going more towards me, I would have done the same thing. Where you just go up here, corner, block, and then just like swing. It works against so many people. Especially when you're bedless and they're not. And they have a bunch of confidence that they can win. So again, I make sure he's committed to one direction before leaving. I do not leave straight away. I stay there for a while, probably a little too long, before making my push over to pink base via grey and more diamonds too. And then I notice him falling into the void, right? I'm not sure if this is going to show in chat. Um, yeah, he fell in the void. So once I notice that, I stop and I go back. And the reason I do this is because I don't want to get fireballed. Now, I will be honest, I get a little lucky here. This is probably the only thing where I get like lucky in this entire game. Pink just goes that way. I'm not sure why. Um, if he'd gone on that bridge, I would have gone here and met him here. And I had like five gaps at this point. So I was going to gap back up, break his bed and kill him. But he just left. I knew there was going to be a fireball because, I mean, come on. So I go back. He's running back. He doesn't make it in time. Not a chance. I notice he's coming back, so I wait to break his bed. Because if you break someone's bed while they're like all the way over here, they might prompt them to run back over here. And by the way, at this point, the rest of the team stuck, took each other out over there. But if they didn't, this guy had M's. I was going to get M's, and I was going to win based on that. And then it was just one fight. However, it ended up being a base fight. And I'm pretty good in base fights, so I was actually pretty confident going into this that I was going to win. Once he runs out there, I go for him. Go for that crit and win the fight. First game on. So th there's a lot of stuff there that, like, when I explain it to you, it seems like, well, obviously, but then when you're trying to actually be in a clutch situation and you're a little bit annoyed about getting double rushed, maybe you might not think about that. And there's a bunch of things that if I didn't do this game, I would not be riding on that chicken. So yeah, in summary, if you find yourself in a 2v1 situation, you want to be as non-confrontational as possible, annoy as little people as possible. If you can get M's, I just didn't really get the time. I needed diamonds badly because the last guy had so much more gear than me. So I really badly needed diamonds and base gens much more than I needed like invis and jump from middle. So I never went to middle. The finals took themselves out. And I knew I had one guy to focus on, that's how I went to. So, be non-confrontational and only take 1v1s. Don't take it if they're both going to come for you, you can just run. Like I did, I ran over to Blue's base and just hid. It takes patience, and this game ended up being less than 5 minutes. Which, considering the circumstances, that's very fast. Good job, Alden Hyper. Passed me. But yeah, I get this video is a little bit different, so I won't need to say two things in the comments. First of all, did you like this style of video, or do you not really want me to do it again? Because I tried it in 2020 and it didn't do great. But I, I thought I'd try it again because that game was kind of cool and it's like a very, a lot of teachable moments happened in that game. Uh, and then second of all, did I actually explain everything well? Because this is the first time in four years I've really tried to do something like this. So I'm not really usually good at commentating things in post. I tried my best. Let me know how I did. Anyway, other than that, uh, YouTuber things. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.